Today we're going to make copper tiki torches. I'm going to start by cutting an 8 inch long piece of 1 inch diameter copper pipe. I'm then going to pound a half inch copper plug into a 1 inch to half inch copper reducer. Now I just need to pound it a little bit in there just so it stays because I'm going to seal it with epoxy. Now before I epoxy the pipes together, I'm going to clean them really good with steel wool. This will polish them so they look nice. Now the parts that I'm going to stick into the joints, I'm going to scratch with some rough sandpaper to help the epoxy stick. I'm going to use Gorilla brand two-part epoxy to stick the pipes together. Try not to get too messy with the epoxy because it's sort of difficult to clean off afterwards. Now while the epoxy is curing, I'm going to make a nice stand for the torches in my parents' backyard. Now I want this base to be nice and secure and to be able to accommodate half-inch copper pipe. So I'm going to use a short length of PVC pipe, some three-quarter inch gravel, quickcrete fast setting concrete mix, and a level to quickly and easily make a nice solid foundation. I'm going to start by digging a hole using a post hole digger. I'm going to pour in about three inches of gravel and pack it down with a stick. I'm then going to fill the hole with quickcrete fast setting concrete mix. This is a really interesting product and you don't need to mix it uh, to make a nice solid foundation. You can just add water and then walk away. I'm going to seal up one end of the PVC pipe with duct tape since I forgot to buy a cap for it. I'm then going to pound it into place and make sure that it's level. And then I poured in some water and let the concrete mix do the work for me. This mix cures really fast, so I just had to wait a few hours before trimming off the PVC pipe with a sawzall. In order to get a good fit, I put some rubber bands around a half inch copper pipe before sliding it into the PVC socket. I then filled up the torch with fuel that actually doubles as an insect repellent. A 3 8 to half inch reducer holds the wick into place and now I was ready to light it and it works. I was a little apprehensive that the heat from the torch would melt the epoxy but surprisingly it didn't really actually get that hot. Even after I had it burning for a while it was, I was able to touch it. But I still wanted to try to do one the old fashioned way so I cut some more pipe and decided to give soldering copper a try. Now this is something I don't have much experience with so there are much better videos that show you exactly how to sweat copper and I encourage you to look at those. But basically you clean the copper, you scratch it to give it a nice abrasive sort of rough surface, you add flux which is going to help the solder stick and travel in between the joints and then you use a blowtorch to heat up the copper and apply the flux. So I'm going to start first by making the bottom end of the torch. And to do that, I need to seal the half inch plug in the one inch to half inch reducer. And it worked pretty well. But will it hold water? Ah, uh, yes, it does. Great. I drilled a hole into a board to make a stand that'll hold the reducer and the one inch pipe while I solder it. Now I tried heating up the pipe and reducer as evenly as possible before just touching the solder to it so that it would melt right into the crevice. This is a lot easier than it sounds and it was a little bit sloppy. But at least it was watertight. Now I just had to flip it over and solder on the cap and that would be it for torch work. I let the copper cool before. One last water test and a good cleaning with steel wool and I was ready to fill this with fuel and light it. Now experienced plumbers will laugh at my uh, craftsman's work here but uh, my second joint definitely got a lot better than my first. 
Now I used wicks from other tiki torches and I used a 3 8 to half inch reducer to keep the wick from sliding into the torch. I also used another reducer and a plug to make a cap. For more detailed instructions check out my website and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media.